What's going on YouTube? Here I have uh, everyday carry wallet. This isn't made for putting tools in, but I've made it to put tools in. So you could see I wanted to go with a lightweight and multifunctional setup. So I want to show you just compared in weight. You know, this is a Leatherman Free P2 and it's a whole ounce more. I don't know if if you're like me but I don't like too many things in my pocket clunking around so this is a great setup for me and I'll just give you some quick uh, dimensions on the current setup or the wallet in general so it's about two and three quarters in width length I'll just do with the tool it's about four and a half in the wall it's about four i have two cards a debit and an id and i'll get into the tools right now so this is a cheapo knife this is a gas station knife it's out the front it's lightweight pretty addicting to do this but has 440 uh stainless steel blade it's made in china you know it's super sharp but it does the job and you know and I'll give you some dimensions on this here just to show you so overall length is a little over five inches or at five inches the blades two and the handle you can see is three so this is my knife you can cut boxes whatever you want with this thing Next, I have a Gerber. This is a Gerber dime. This is $20, but for $20, I feel like it's made well. There's maybe a few things I would change about it, but it does have a spring loaded or uh, some tension while pulling the pliers, which feels like some quality. But it has a needle nose plier and wire cutters, so th there's three functions on that. It does have a pair of tweezers in there. I'll set that to the side right now. It has a pair of scissors, nothing special. They feel good for being as small as they are. Uh, does have that spring loaded on there. <clears throat> so I like having scissors on me to cut little things. And the tools are somewhat stiff coming out, but and they lock out. So here's a flat head or a pry bar. On the other side, it has a file plus comes to a point. Could be a smaller flat head. And on the other side, it has a box cutter. I probably would change this. It does look cool. I don't think I'll ever use it. And I believe the last tool here, or probably shouldn't open a knife with my thumb like that, but here's the knife, you know, small little thing, you know, it's almost as big as the wallet in total length, but it's an inch and three fourths. You know, I really enjoy this multi-tool for being as small as it is. But it has a bottle opener, and also you can put a lanyard on this or put it on your keychain. That's pretty useful to have on your keychain. So here's the Nipex Cobra SX. These are about $38. You know, small, lightweight. They're only about 4 inches. And the width, let's say it's inch and a quarter. So I really enjoy these. They really grip things well. I, you know, can rotate a three-inch screw and turn it. That's into a stud with no slipping. It grabs on the bolts well. And I'll give you some dimensions here on, you know, the overall width of these clothes. But it's about three-fourths of an inch. And we'll say you need something a little bit bigger, but I don't recommend spinning bolts this big with these small pliers, and I'll tell you why here. But I'd say, you know, a little over an inch. 
But the biggest problem with these is how small they are. So if you need to turn a bolt that's, you know, in somewhere, you might only have two fingers to grab onto that bolt and turn. And you could just put pressure with your palm to turn it because they do lock into place when you get a hold of something that's like a bolt. But great overall tool. I would love to try out the full size version of these. And here's the wallet nothing too special has leather on one side elastic so i'd say three cards max here and two cards max there but i would like to uh you know try out this wallet more see if it gets more wear and tear or you know loosens up so i can fit more cards in there but thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later